Welcome back. So glad that you joined me today. When was the last time that we truly had good rest? That kind of sounds like a very, qua a very crazy question to ask. But right now, because of the virus, because of politics, because of other different life situations, it seems like we're truly not getting the rest that we need. But even more, not just physical rest, but rest in God. You know, recently we've seen so much with, like I mentioned just a moment ago, with what's going on with this virus, that every time we turn, it's plaguing our very thought process and keeping us away from the thoughts that we should be thinking as they are in God. But even with that, we have another thing that we're dealing with now as well that's been plaguing our minds for many, many, many months. And that's where, where is true justice? Are we actually seeing what's right? Are we actually seeing that justice is being done how it's supposed to be? You know, in the end, as we are looking at how things are being done and everything like that, we need to be praying for people on both sides of the equation. Just because someone did something that seems wrong to us, we need to be praying for them and their families, and even more, that true justice is done. Even when justice is done, let's remember this. Don't celebrate just because someone got convicted because of what they did to someone of a certain color or a certain race or whatever. But I also want to mention this, because we've been dealing with this for a long time, it feels. Or maybe it's just that it's gotten into the attention of the news more recently. Just because you are in of a certain skin color does not make the person of a certain group. I hope that you heard me right. And yeah, we have to address this, because... Everywhere in the Bible, we see that the concept of racism is rampant. The, what we need to understand is racism from the original is looking at the hatred that one person has against the other. I appreciate how one person brought it out uh, a couple days ago with the concept that when we look at each other, so often we're focused on where people are from, what they're doing, what they're like, how much money they have, what their skin color is. And people point at each other and say hate it, hateful things. And then all of a sudden it's called racism. We need to remember that there is only one race on this earth, and that is the human race. God made all of us equal. We need to start living together in the here and now so that we'll be able to live together forever. If we don't get along here, God's not going to be changing us to live together forever. It starts now. Eternity starts now so that we're able to actually have that forever rest. Which even with that, I want to pose to you this concept before we look at our verse which side of the forever rest will we actually be on are we going to be forever resting with jesus or are we going to be forever resting never to wake ever again in other words being forever lost and never coming to be known again in eternity today's verse comes to us from the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 33 and verse 14 says this, The Lord replied, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. That's an amazing promise, isn't it? God was speaking to Moses and the children of Israel, promising them that everywhere they go, not only would he be with them, but he was going to give them rest. Now, we can't imagine from their side how this would have been, 
because of the 500 or 400 to 500 year plus captivity that the nation was in. But we forget, we're in a similar captivity ourselves. It's time for us to reevaluate, to rethink, and to relook at what God has to say. But even more than that, to get back in God's Word and continue to read, to study, and to learn how to live together here and now. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time as we continue to study God's Word together. God bless.